What's going on everybody? Don here with another video, another showing you another FFmpeg trick. This time I'm going to be showing you how to speed up a video by any any arbitrary to an, to an arbitrary number of seconds. So meaning if you had a video say it's like 5 minutes long and you said it want it to be a minute long or something like that, uh this is this trick will help you do it. Uh before we get started, drop me a like and subscribe. And with that, let me show you the goods. We're gonna go over here and uh, we're gonna be using these little uh, Animal Crossing recordings again. I, I like using these. Uh, so the main thing this is really good for that I use it for is after I've cleaned up some kind of recording, um, if I want to uh, change the duration to make it better for like a certain platform like uh, Instagram, TikTok, something like that, I can just arbitrarily reduce it down to a certain duration, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 60 seconds, something like that. So we're going to look at the original version uh, of what I'm going to, uh, of what I'm going to have already ran the, this process on. So it's this, um, this creation process video that I have already ran through the decimation process to remove the frozen frames. Uh, I showed how to do this in a previous video. And what it did was it removed all the uh, all the frozen frames and removed the sound. So if we play it, um, it's just going to be this simple little video. It's like uh, it's like a barely it's almost two minutes. Now what I want to do is hmm, if I want to say put this on something like I don't know Instagram or TikTok even, um, might be better if I made it something like mm, I don't know how about ten seconds. Let's see if we can make this entire video play in 10 seconds. How's that sound? So this is kind of a two part step. I have two scripts involved with this. Um, the first one I'm going to show you is the one that actually does the um, updating of the uh, timestamps. So it is in this script that I call time lapseify. And What's happening here is I'm passing in the the file that I want to do this on. Uh, what the name of the file I want this uh, after its process to be written out to, and the duration that I want the new video to be in in seconds, seconds specifically. And what's happening here is it's running a video filter, and it's using the set PTS filter to update the presentation timestamps on all of the frames on the video. And I forget exactly what this like in slash something slash TB syntax means, but essentially it's it's updating the timestamps on all of the frames. Um, and it's pass basically right here is um, actually what the value is used to update the timestamps. And this is just returning the result of another script that I have that um, I will show you in a second. Um, and what happens is whenever it's trying to update the timestamps, you didn't change the frame rates that like the FPS of the video. So what'll happen is is as you update these timestamps, the um while it's being re-encoded, it's it's going to still try to reinforce the fact that I think this video has like a like a 60 FPS or something. So it's basically just going to drop a bunch of frames in order to maintain the 60 FPS. So what you'll get is almost kind of like um like a shortened flip book version of the original video where it's just kind of arbitrarily trimmed out a bunch of frames so that the whole thing plays in the time that was that I that I gave it. Um this get frame rate script is let's see, it's in uh it's in the same place. Scripts get frame rate. Yeah. Um so it's using the same inputs that I passed in from the other script. And it's using this this little program is kind of like a little command line calculator. Um, this flag is uh, it, it enables some library which actually lets it return like floating point numbers. Otherwise, it rounds everything. And I'm using this media info program to specifically get the number of frames from the video. And then I am dividing the number of frames by the duration that I want. And if you were to look at in a, I don't know what you call that, uh, like mathematical like uh, annotations, it would actually literally be frames per second. So this is giving me the like the desired frames per second effect that I want the video to appear to have 
even though the actual frames per second doesn't change. Uh, so like, I'll, let me show you what an example of this, of what this command will do. So if I give it, um, yeah, if I give it the decimated file that we want to work on, then I say, what would the frame rate be if I want this to be 30 seconds instead of the actual time, which is like a, just over two minutes or under two minutes? Uh, there you go. Uh, it had to be like 224 FPS. Well, it's not actually going to have 224 FPS. It's just going to trim away enough of the frames that that's kind of the, I guess you want to say the simulated effect of it. Um, now, I've already ran this on for a couple of different durations just to kind of show you the differences. Uh, I w I'm not going to sit here and let this wait because um, this is running a video filter, so it will for it will force a reencode. So it's not it's not a quick process to run, uh, but I will show you uh, the results as a comparison. So we have uh, let's see, there's a 10 second and a 30 second one. I might run this for like a 60 second one because. This video is kind of short, so even though if I run it, it'll probably only take like a couple seconds, I think. So let's look at the the 30 second one. What does the 30 second one look like? Holy shit, that is a lot faster than it was before. And you'll notice um, it's kind of jumping around at parts, maybe, you can notice. It's because, again, when it ran this, it um, removed a bunch of frames in order for it to kind of give it this simulated speed. And you'll see that the duration actually is more or less exactly 30 seconds. So I have taken this uh, like a minute and 50 second long video and reduced this down to 30 seconds. Now, this effect is uh, very, very interesting if you use it on very, very long videos. Uh, I've used this on videos that were like six hours long and chopped it down to like 60 seconds. And it's like, holy shit, there's so many things happening all at once. That's kind of interesting to watch. Uh, so that was the 30 second version. What does the 10 second version look like? Well, it's similar, but again, it's even faster. It's just brrr, it's just super fast. Like, um, I can actually imagine this being interesting to put on like, I don't know, Instagram or something. I think that'd be pretty neat. That'd be pretty neat. Um, now just for the sake of it, I will actually, what was that command? At? I think I still, yeah, I will run this. Uh, to show you kind of how long it would take. Uh, I'm not gonna, like I said, I don't, I don't really think I'm gonna sit here and do it the whole time, but I forget how long this should take. Uh, I'll just kind of talk about some other stuff while it's running. So um, keep in mind, this is only operating on the video part of the data streams, not touching the audio. So if you do this on a video that has audio, er everything's gonna get all desynced. So Unless you have a way to also speed the audio up by the same rate, which might give you some very interesting results, or you do what I do usually, which is just completely strip the audio out so it's no longer relevant. Um, uh, if you leave the audio in, it'll get all screwed up. Basically, what I'm trying to say is uh, this, as I have it right now, is only useful on videos that have no audio. Um, I th at some point, I might try to see if I can do a version where it will speed the audio up too, but as of right now, I don't really have a reason to devise such a script, so uh, let's just say I, I wouldn't look forward to it as of right now. Okay, it's done. So this was 60 seconds. So let's see what the 60 second version of this looks like. Uh, is that a 60? Yeah. So again, this was... um almost half the duration of the original one. So this one's not quite as noticeable, but again, the whole duration is down to a minute rather than um, the full minute and 50 seconds-ish that it was before. So there you go. This is my little script to reduce or speed up, I guess is the way to put it, the uh, amount of time it takes for a video to play to any arbitrary number of seconds. Uh, I haven't tried to run this to to make it go longer. I'm not really sure what that would do. I would I would imagine it would probably just make some of the frames like duplicate. I don't know. That's an interesting thing I might try later. Uh, so that's all I have for this video. Uh, if you liked it, like, give me subscribe. Uh, leave me a comment down below if you if you have any questions. Uh, if you would like to 
follow me on social media or join me on Discord. I have those links down below. If you would like to support the channel, links are also down below. And that's all I got for you today. Y'all come on back now, and I'll see you next time.